hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'll be teaching you how i made this single strip double rose crinoline design now subscribe to my channel if you've not and click the notification bell to always get notified for our new videos now i'll be making use of this bigger crinoline and this is about 50 inches of crinoline i'll fold it into two this way and with my UHU gum, I will gum the tip of it just the way I am doing it. Just watch closely what I'm doing. It is very simple. So, you do it this way. Just watch what I'm doing. So, you keep folding it that way. Repeat the same procedure to the other end as well. Okay. So this is what I'll keep doing to make sure it dries very well. That's why I'm doing it that way. So I want to make sure it's very dried. So after that, with my fishing line and needle, or with your needle and thread, anyone you want you start doing the running stitch this way just watch closely the way I'm doing this it is very very simple you keep doing it mm. this is very simple right so Make sure you don't fast forward. Just watch what I'm doing. So you keep doing this until you get to the other end of it. Now, when I get to the other end, I drag this way. Can you see the way it is? So I'll start folding it to my test, but I'll need to apply a little UHU gum to it. Just watch closely what I'm doing. Apply UH gum to it and I roll it this way just to form my rose design. So it's not really difficult like that. If you really follow everything I'm doing here, you really get it. So I'll drag it from the other end as well to make sure it stays properly. So, in this other place, I'll repeat the same procedure. I'll keep folding it. You apply gum as well to it if you wish, or you, you know, fold it from the inside and use your fishing line and needle to tack it down. Just watch what I am doing. I am tacking it down to make sure it stays properly. So, can you see I'm still arranging it so that it will stay very well. So, you sew down with your needle and fishing line just for it to stay properly so make sure you sew as many times as possible just to make sure it stays very well if yours is not staying properly so when you are sure it is very tight you can you know tie down so i can put any design inside this if i wish or I leave it that way, okay? So I'm still tacking down because I want this to properly stay well. So when you're done sewing, you tie it down. You tie very well, and with your scissors, you cut out the excess thread. So can you see this? This is the way it looks like. Thanks for watching. Bye.